Inside this box is the cheapest electric dirt bike that I could find at the auction. All right, I gotta be, I gotta be a little more honest with you guys. I didn't actually buy it at the auction. I bought it from a man outside of the auction on the back of his truck. And I paid 1100 bucks. This is a $3,600 electric bike, and I've actually heard really, really, really awesome things about it. But what's weird is that there was tons of these things at the auction, hundreds of brand new bikes in the boxes from this company, Candy, C-A-N-D-Y, all over the place. So is there some huge flaw with these things? I don't get it. Why did I get it so cheap? Let's open this thing up. Hold on a second, I don't, I don't feel right. Hold on a second. I got my chainsaw back! Spider, see it? Right there. Spider. This is all kind of uh, reminiscing of Gary Bike. Which I gave away on a couple live streams ago. Totally regret. All right, initial thoughts right here. You guys can't see what's going on, hold up. I can see what's going on. Let me show you guys what's going on. Uh-oh. That was a thing. Did you, did you already break the bike? If they didn't want you to cut it, they wouldn't have let, they wouldn't have given you a chainsaw to cut it with. There she is. There she blows. This is what I cut accidentally. Toolkit. What's this? Rubber solution. Space blanket. No, I think this is a uh, tire patch kit. So as far as I know, I think this is called the Candy Trail King. So if you look this bike up, 3,600 bucks. We've had other electric bikes we paid like 1,500 bucks for, but mainly everything kind of stacks up against the Gary bike, which we got to go like 70 miles an hour on the highway. <clears throat> So, like I've said before, uh, these motorized bicycles, there's always that guy who's like, hey man, it's not a real motorcycle. And then there's always that guy who's gonna argue with you and saying like, motorcycles are actually engine cycles and all that nonsense. This is the gateway drug to, you know, harder drugs like methamphetamines and, and cocaine and stuff like that and Harley Davidsons and Ducatis. This is what gets people hooked. Let's see if this tool's any good. At first glance though, I'm gonna say this looks like a pretty decent quality. Although this K, it's so poorly done. It's like a piece of metal. Big gouges of metal sticking out. Like you can really cut your finger on there. Kind of slimy on the side. Put your finger on there. Dan, sl slime that. Slime it? Oh geez. That's really slimy. It's kind of how you know whether the bike is of quality, how slimy it is. Backwards. There we go. I gotta say, I've bought like a motorcycles, like a more expensive, cheap boxed motorcycles than this. And they came with, this is a pretty decent tool. Like they came with really crummy tools and this is like, this is sparing no expense cause there's no way you need all these little tools to put this bike together. You know, I take it back, this tool's cheap. It just, it's all flexing and stuff when you really get into it. Look at that flex. Is this tool a cheap piece of junk? Is that foreshadowing? You know what guys, I just remembered something while I'm slaving away on this motorcycle. If you too, Want to join the Bikes and Beards Sheriff Department? We've got a solution for you. If you remember, we started our own Sheriff Department a couple, uh, a couple weeks ago when we drove these things back from Alabama. A lot more fun stuff coming with that. But if you want to join, we have this awesome shirt right here. Bikes and Beards Sheriff Department Highway Pals. Go to bikesandbeardsgear.com or just click on the link below. That's how you're going to get it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this thing upside down i'll put this tire on then we'll start we'll kind of give the bike a good uh a good look over it sounds amazing it does oh this goes in there this goes in there here we go let's look at the instructions it just says front wheel installation and that just shows you a picture of it on it's off and then it's on look this goes in here this one also goes in here it doesn't fit it doesn't fit it doesn't work it has to be, there's got to be more space on this side than there are, is on this side. But the spacers they give you are the exact same size. It doesn't work. Look at that. It pushes the tire out like this. Now it's all crooked like this. Is this why they sent them on to auction? Little, Defective spacers? Maybe it's something bigger than that. I mean, I guess I can cut down the spacer. If I cut it down though, and I realize that it was supposed to be like that for some stupid reason I can't figure out, there's no going back. I got an idea. I'm going to cut it down. You are going to cut it down? Yup. <laughs> Look at that. 
locked in. Perfect. That might be enough. It's gotta be smaller. It's still too big. Dan, my goal here is perfection. If it's not perfect within a hundred thousandths of some type of measurement, it won't work. We'll just keep on doing it again. It's, a t it's the same type of uh, dedication I have to the uh, Bikes and Beards sh Sherf department. If it ain't perfection, it ain't Sherf. Yeah, it's good enough. What is this? What do you think of this? Comment below. Oh, this is the, uh, what an interesting setup. Those are the pegs and the kickstand. And they get bolted right here. Dan, let me your hand. Hold that side up. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Here we go. All right, that should be good. Here it is. It chain's nice and tight. It's got a spring in here that is adjustable. That's kind of cool. A pretty big looking electric motor in here. The electric motor's right here. It's also kind of like the pivoting point of like the, the frame. Goes right through it. Here's your uh, electric controller. And then right here where it says Kendi. Kendi? Candy. This is the battery, but unlike a lot of the other bikes, this is fixed. So you got one port right there, and then right next to it is another completely separate. Yeah, you just have another port. So I guess that would be for charging, and this is for the controller. Ooh, three looking, three buttons, three settings. That's a thing. There's too much resistance right there. I think I gotta go a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It works. It spins like a wheel should. Let's get these tires pumped up. We had a nice compressor at the shop. I don't know what happened to it, but now we have to use this. Good enough for bicycle tires. It's good enough for bicycle tires. Get ready for the noise, Dan. Um, okay. I think it's ready. Isn't this weird how there's nothing here? Just like a hole right here, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, put my sandwich there? I could totally wedge, like, a Chick-fil-A club right there, and maybe, like, some a couple of waffle fries up here. Now we're ready. It's finally ready. Let's go take that thing for a spin. All right, so I got a confession to make. It's actually the next day. I just wore the exact same clothes to try to fool you guys. Dan thought it would fool you guys. I know you guys are too smart for that. And I'm also gonna wear a helmet because I'm kind of sketched out about this bike, especially with that front wheel. Something just feels so sketchy with that front wheel. I'm not sure what it is. And the placement of these pegs are kind of weird. Like, it's supposed to be a trail bike, but the way your feet sit, it's like a sport bike. You want it to be more like this, so you can kind of just stand up real quick, real easily. And then this is a three position switch. So let's see what position number one does. What the heck? Oh, I see what's going on. All right, okay, position one. What am I hearing? You're hearing this. Is that, that's not a brake? Oh. That's, that's me just bottoming it out the forks. All right, so that's a big deal. That's pretty obnoxious. Compression. Wow, it just kind of goes to like doing stuff, just full blown, it's locked up. And there's a setting down here too, I thought. This is uh, your rebound. That feels a little bit better. All right, so then let's put on three. No, it's still doing it. This front end just feels so awful. It's really making me miss Gary Bike. I've never ridden anything that had I had least confidence in. The fact that they're trying to push this thing as a $3,700 bike just blows my mind. Other than the fact that the brakes are awful, the throttle response is very goofy. Like you take it, you, you get off the throttle, it's still kind of going for a second. And then the suspension's bad. I don't really have any current complaints about the frame yet. This is worth less than what I paid for it. And they're trying to pass it off as a $3,600 bike. It's insane. So while I thought this bike was awful, I wanted to see what someone else thought about it. So I gave it to my cameraman. I never knew anything could feel so awful. How bad can it really be? You want to ride it? Yeah, yeah, I want to see how awful this is. Do it, Dan. Dan's riding style is uh, called just whiskey, 100% just whiskey throttle all the time. I'm not sure if Dan actually has any real control over the bike or if the bike controls him. I felt like my back seat scraping. Yeah, it could be. Every part of that bike is touching every other part of that bike. Yes, Dan, there you go. 
<laughs> I told you, it's just awful. <laughs> What's that scraping noise Your going back, on back seat, here? Like touching the tire. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah. Oh shoot. Okay. The suspension is clearly made for someone that weighs 70 pounds. But the big question is, the question that the Bikes and Beards uh, Scherf Department collaboratively all wanted to know is, how many times can a girl bench press it? Let's go find out. What's happening? Dan, by the way, Carla. Carla. You ready for this, Carla? Yeah, yeah, pull it out. One, One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, that uh, that settles it. The number is fifteen. If you guys were wondering, awesome. Yep. Thank you so much. You crushed it. Everyone wanted to know, 15 it is. So now the obvious thing to do is we're gonna race it against all the similar bikes we can find at the shop. And this one is a $1,400 electric bicycle that is owned by Ben's mom. As of right now, I mean, I'm considering this like the, uh, the nails on a chalkboard of motorcycles. It's just awful to drive and I hate everything about it. That's actually pretty fun. Let's race. <laughs> it works. All right, oh, these brakes are awful. All right, so wow, it beat a uh, it beat an electrically assisted pedal bike. Not very impressed, and I almost ran into the woods because the braking is so bad on this bike. Let's see how it does against Martha, the mobility scooter. Smoked you, Martha. Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this, the awful noise that this thing makes while it's moving? Like nonstop, just like rattling and grinding. I hope after this video, no one ever buys one of these things ever again. Now we're gonna race it against the greatest motorcycle ever made, the Honda Fat Cat 200. I'll be riding the Fat Cat. Ben will be riding the uh, Candy. Now we're gonna take this thing up against the greatest electric bike I've probably ever driven, and that is the uh, KTM E Free Ride. Well, as you can see, other than comparing this to a mobility scooter and a bicycle, that thing is awful in every possible way. Let's go to the next thing. What is the next thing? Give you a piece of paper. Now we're gonna see how fast this thing goes. So I'll be driving the chase bike. Well, Ben's over there, normally doing the uh, driving the chase vehicle. We're switching roles here, and we're gonna see how fast this guy can go. Oh no, he's so fast I can't even keep up with him. So we're hitting 25, 27, 28, 30. Dude, this second top out at 30, and that's uh, pretty much exactly what it tops out at. Very boring and stupid, and I hate it. I hate you. So at least they weren't misleading us about the top speed. Top speed was exactly 30 miles an hour. I would hope to be a little bit faster. 30 is awful. Like everything about that bike. But the other question is how long will it actually go before it dies? The average uh, American commute is 26 miles one way. Can that thing even get you to work and back? We'll find out. The best way that I can describe this um riding this bicycle like the feeling of it is brushing your teeth with glass and sand glass and sand might be more preferable than riding this bike to be honest so ergonomically here's the problem with this bike the seat slip slope like this so i want to slide forward but my pegs are back here so this is how i end up riding the bike if i sit up here i don't start sliding forward again it's it's so stupid i miss gary bike and I'm convinced the wheel's gonna fall off. And the guy behind me is gonna run me over. I hope this thing dies really quick, because this is awful. Oh, 
It's only three miles. It's the worst three miles of my life. Excuse me, sir. Are you dying? Yeah, we're dying. Your, your bike's dying? Hopefully. <laughs> you are going very slow. And that's all she's got. I did nine miles. This awful electric bike only could do nine miles. The whole time I was just praying that it would break earlier because it was so awful. First nine miles I've ever done my life. The bike turned out to be so incredibly awful that the only thing that I could possibly think to do with this thing was this. All right, so this is one of the benefits of being on the super secret text line. If you want to join that, join it right here. I'm sending this out to the greater Lancaster County. The person who responds back to me that wants this electric bicycle and is willing to trade four Italian subs, one with no tomato, and can be at my shop by 12 o'clock today, can have this bike. Google SRK Cycles for location. MSRP is 3,600 bucks. Should I say the bike is awful? And the bike is slightly awful. Bam, sent. No, we wait. Ooh, I got a text message from Bikes and Beards. All right, so it's 11.57. This guy's got three minutes to show up with our subs. Sean, are you gonna miss it? No, I will not. There he is, he's here. Let's see if he's got our subs. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? 12 o'clock on the dot, you got the goods? Yes, sir. How you doing, Sean? That's me, Brayden. Brayden? Brayden, I'm Craig. Nice <laughs> to nice meet you, man. You. They smell good? They smell pretty good. I gotta make them real good. Yeah? All right. One without tomato, just as you asked. Well, per our agreement, here is your electric bike. That is awesome. You might change your mind about how awesome it is when you ride it, but uh, it does work. So you just press that red button, and then now you're good. It's just, it'll go. That looks fun. <laughs> if all you'd known was like bicycles and jump on that, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but just we've, we've tasted the good. Yeah, the good candy. Ask them get up and go for a little electric bike. What do you think? Is it worth four subs? It was definitely worth four subs. All right, we'll do the deal. Sounds good. We'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out this next video right up here.